the MCIA format modem with built-in battery and antenna, and Intel says it will be out later this year with a wireless modem that comes bundled with AT&T communications software. Time now for this week's software review from Paul Schindler of Windows Magazine, provided courtesy of CMP Publications. Today, we'll look at an intelligent atlas for Windows called AutoMap. Plan your routes and determine distances at home. You may never need AAA again, at least not for trip ticks. You begin with a map of the United States. For more detail, push the plus button. For less, push the minus button. Under Route Menu, Set Journey Preferences, you'll find an interesting feature. Slider bar preference setters that enable you to decide what kind of roads you want to travel and even whether you like ferries or not. If you give ferries a strong preference, it'll route you out of your way to ride on one. You take the green flag and set your starting point, the checkered flag and set your ending point, then push Calculate and tell AutoMap whether you want the shortest, fastest, or alternate route. It then offers you detailed directions which you can print or save. These really are directions good enough to drive with. Of course, you can also just play with the map using the zoom in and zoom out controls. AutoMap is $100 from AutoMap Incorporated in Phoenix, Arizona. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Paul Schindler. In other software news, Intuit has announced Quicken 4.0 for the Macintosh, and Quarterdeck is shipping version 7 of its expanded memory manager, which it says offers significant gains in the amount of memory it can open up. The U.S. House of Representatives has announced a standard email system for members and constituents using technology from SoftSwitch. And finally, if you're looking for a book to teach your children about computer basics, the Dream Factory has come out with Teaching an Old Cat New Tricks, a colorful guide to computer literacy. That's it for this week's Computer Chronicles. I'm Janelle Stelson. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by Intel, the world's leading manufacturer of microprocessors. Intel, the computer inside. Additional funding is provided by the Software Publishers Association, providers of educational materials to help manage software. Don't copy that floppy.